you program Mastercam using files from either a customer or another department within your company, you'll often face a situation where your program and toolpaths are finished using the original geometry, but then a change is sent out that must be incorporated into your toolpaths. Let's walk through how Mastercam change recognition can help you manage these changes and update any affected toolpaths quickly and efficiently. My original model is coming from SOLIDWORKS, so to start programming, I'll just open up the SLDPRT part file directly inside Mastercam. I've got a machine defined and I'll set up my stock so it will recognize what material needs to be removed when I do the dynamic mill toolpaths on these pockets. To define the machining areas, I'll select the faces I want to machine using the solid face selection filter, and then I'll have it come from the outside and use the top face to define the avoidance region. We we'll use a quarter inch flat end mill as my tool, and everything else in here should be good to go. Now for the drill tool path, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these holes. So just control click on the whole face of one of them, grabs all holes of the exact same size automatically. I can reorder them if I wanna optimize the pathing, and it does confirm the size of the geometry visually in the dialog so that I can make sure I grab the correct tool for this drill tool path. The depth is identified automatically by the hole geometry, but I'll turn on tip comp to make sure it completes the hole and breaks through the other side. Let's back plot these tool paths real quick, make sure everything's working the way we want it to. It's entering from the outside, it looks good. So I'll save this project, and this is where I'll start tracking changes. I can check for an update to the source file, and it shows that I'm up to date for this file. So everything's current. Let's go open up this file in SOLIDWORKS and change it just to show you how this process works. I'll adjust the pattern on this pocket feature to change it from eight to four instances. And then I'll save the change so I can show you how to update the Mastercam project. If we check the current document again, it finds the change and offers to open change management for you. Now, if you get a new file like by email, and you know you have a new file, you can just launch change management directly to open up this file import process. The change recognition dialog allows me to look at the information that is coming in on the geometry. I can look at the original file or the incoming file. I can even filter it down to faces that are new or unique or shared between each of the files. And I can do this for each toolpath. And so for each toolpath, you can kind of visually look and see, okay, does it need to be regenerated? Or can I simply edit the geometry to pick new faces? It also shows me what selections were used so I can know for sure whether that face specifically changed and needs to be reselected. For these pockets, I do need to reselect the geometry. So I'll simply rechain the selections where I'm specifying where I want to machine. And I do have to grab those faces again, but the toolpath and the definition is all set up. The only thing that changed was that chain. We'll rechain the avoidance region as well, and everything should be up and running. So we'll go back and we'll regenerate right here inside the change recognition dialog, and we'll see the updated toolpath, and we can see whether or not anything else has changed. And once you've gone all the way through every toolpath, we've visually confirmed that each one is up to date, clicking OK, gives you everything you need. Your toolpath is now done and everything's ready with the new version. The change recognition tool makes it easy to manage changes to your CAD files.